Intel show floor at Telecom World 2013 will be a lot of new equipment. It will be focused on certain segments. We'll be focused on education, we'll focus on healthcare, and we'll show a whole set of devices ranging from ultrabooks to some really exciting tablets to smartphones and show how all of those work together to deliver value to the end customers. One of the main areas we're focusing on is education transformation. You need connectivity, training, content, equipment to make that happen. And the ministers there are really very, very engaged in this area. So we're going to be running four different workshops, one for ministers and one for many of the attendees there. And what we're going to do is bring in countries and best practices and share them with all the participants. So in four different workshops, it should be a lot of time for the people to engage and they're going to see some excellent implementations all around the world and hopefully that will inspire them to see what can I do in my country. Well, what's happening is the price of devices is getting cheaper and cheaper. There's a billion children in schools and to be equipped them that's a tremendous amount of money. And at the same time broadband is moving down in price and we have the advent of prepaid broadband. So just about everyone can afford to use broadband at home. So they can have their computers in school, they can use them at home. Content is becoming electronic and not just PDF books, it's exciting, it's videos, it's interactive, it's collaboration and all of that comes together with trained teachers to bring a completely transformed classroom and learning experience. Well for government it's critical the teachers get trained. Every K-12 student has grown up in the internet era and many of the teachers didn't. So having them feel confident about computing devices and using them to create lesson plans is critical. That needs training. Intel does a lot of that training, our partners do a lot of that training, and so countries can just adopt it and pick up that training. The second one is electronic content, moving from the book format to the electronic format, but not just doing it, but adding, how can I assess, how can I do real-time understanding of which students understood that concept and which ones didn't at exactly that second. And that all needs to be integrated. So governments need to be specifying, teachers need to be trained. They need to be specifying the content we want and will purchase will be electronic. And they need to be working so that you have the same experience in the cities and in the rural where you're not as well connected. Well, at World 2013, it matters tremendously because of the audience that's there. You have 70, 80, 90, 100 ministers show up to this and they make decisions in their countries. They decide on the broadband policy. They fund a lot of this through a universal service fund or from license fees and that can transform their country. So when you see a company like Intel that has products and platforms for this that may train 12 million teachers um, in the last 10 years, that's programs for healthcare, that's programs for job creation, we need to bring those programs into the countries and it's the ministers that decide the policies they can decide some of the funding, they're the people that make it happen. So if you have an industry working with government in that private-public partnership, this is the place to meet the most senior decision makers in one place. It's an opportunity we don't get very often and we anxiously look forward to it and take that opportunity. Taking part in the ITU Telecom events really helps us reach the decision makers. There are many of them there. You get to them in a very, very efficient manner um, you can talk with numbers of them at the same time about common concepts because it's critical that a program may be done in one country many other countries don't know about that. Having all the countries together and sharing those ideas and best practices it's an absolutely perfect venue for that because where else can you get 80, 90, 100 ministers in one venue at one time? It would take you a year to meet that many people. You can do it in two or three days. So it's just brilliant for meeting people and decision makers.